Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing, the second attempt and hopefully the one that is going to be successful. My name is Saiken. We are in the uh, very final moments of uh, that challenge because now it's time to launch the um, mission for the actual Advent Tower. Let me give you a rundown because I put a lot of thought into what I'm uh, going to do. Despite my best efforts, I couldn't pull it off to get the plated armor. I tried a lot, but it just didn't work out. I visited the black market, double checked if I could speed up the technology. And the main problem is I could maybe squeeze it in. But um, as soon as this year is July 15th, we're going to lose um, uh, the challenge. So since I don't want that counter uh, to even uh, go down further, I'm essentially opening that, mi that mission now. I don't know how XCOM deals with different time zones. We're in North America, remember? This is Asia, so technically they're kind of half a day to a day um, in advance, which means we got to um, uh, start the mission right now. We're going to go in with an extra soldier. We're going to get a free run and gun, and we get some extra stats. I don't personally like the individual concealments that much, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I simply see no advantage of um, using 36 uh, uh, resources. Before we hit launch, uh, launch the mission, just for reference again, July 13th, uh, I will attempt the final two missions without any updates, no weapon updates, no armor updates, nothing. It is pure um, soldiers. Um, the um, soldier skills that are going to uh, be in effect no none of uh, the chosens have been cleared and we're not even at maximum level we only got uh, two majors uh, the majority else is on the kind of captain uh, level so this is actually going to be incredibly rough and i'm not sure if i can uh, pull it off uh, at all so that's the reason why i make that disclaimer up front this is the second uh, last mission of course so it's supposed to be a, allegedly a little bit uh, easier we're looking at july the 13th as the benchmark here if i can pull it off we're going to go in with a different team though let me sort that out real quick Good, so we take whomever we can get, but this here is the B team. This is not our main Reaper. This is Valk uh, Valkyrie. Um, um, or Valkyrie, the uh, second uh, Reaper. We got Dark Tower Noxus leading this. Gravedigger, he um, had an appearance in one of the missions previously. And uh, Michael Public Bravo is back because we need some cover removal. I'm generally fine with how that team is being set up, so. Let's give it a go and uh, see how far we can take it. This mission in itself will already be uh, pretty, pretty difficult. But the last mission will just be insanely difficult. And I hope that I can give you a good show. So let's go. Well, look at that. We'll access the portal and take the fight to them. So good news is we just need to hack. And I think uh, that the Reaper can even do that without being interrupted whatsoever. We just gotta hack that. Oh, I see we're not starting concealed at all. <laughs> well, then the individual concealment actually would have made sense. Who would have thought? Valkyrie moves up. Copy that. And oh, let's get everyone else into a position where we can overwatch, overwatch, and you guessed it, overwatch. sure why this one here 
would be spotted out, but it's a bit ridiculous. Okay, so this here shouldn't be a problem at all. We're just weaseling our way towards the actual target. Overwatch, Overwatch, and we're pro potentially going to trigger those uh, three guys if they are coming a bit closer. Great critical hit, Noxus. There's the clone. Not sure where all of those discovery fields would be coming from. That some, uh, somewhat does make a lot of sense. Yeah, we could kill the guy upstairs. The there we go, nice little melee vulnerability. Unfortunately, we find ourselves with yet another pack. Too bad. Let's run and gun right over here into cover. That's still. Uh, gives us cover and still provides us a great opportunity. All right, Mike moves up. That would get rid of the Codex. Yeah, let's get rid of the Codex and remove the cover from the Sectoid. The other Codex will eventually uh, use the psionic bomb. Good, so how are we going to deal with those jokers over here? There's a nice little remote start. Hell yeah, why haven't I been using that beforehand? Wow, okay. Well. That was pretty damn good. Good. Getting into full cover. Can we get off the Spectre? Okay, so I got one. Ah, 
Nice one. Plus he's burning. That is awesome. Good round overall. I originally wanted to just sneak through everything here. Yep, weapon disabled. It's probably a mind spin. Get out of my head. Interesting, uh, the sector picked the only spot where he possibly could have um, uh, be a hide-in um, and not be a target. Not bad. I appreciate his creativity. Roger that. All right, moving out of here i still don't know if that will be enough so i'd rather use the run and gun take a solid bit of cover and yeah let's get rid of both of them so respectively one dies and one becomes injured Moving up. Oh yeah, we got that extra that extra action this turn, which is great. Because we have been shot at. Mind control lost. I think the chances of hitting him are not that great. So let's just counter heal. Like I said, we don't need to do that here um, perfectly because none of those guys will be at the final mission. Gives us a pretty good understanding though how the final mission is going to look like. Took a chance there because we could restart, so that's fine. Time to reload and just get everyone back on track. Look at that, everyone was out of ammunition. Good. I think we killed two packs. Which is not too bad to begin with. And I think it also implies that there's only one more pack left. If my memory serves me well, we were looking at eight enemies overall. Out. Let's just get a tight formation. As per the usual, high ground is superior positioning, so that's why we're just waiting here. And the last pack's probably within their central. 
Maybe I'm wrong, maybe we're looking at two more packs. Good, let us try to position everyone up here so that we can get that nice little overwatch trap. We already know that they are coming. There's no timer on this mission. They just turn around. Volk says I am to obey. Target in range. Move to hack the command console. As you order, Commander. Okay, we're just going to continue to Overwatch. And there's potentially the Overwatch. I was about to say, the Viper is casually walking upstairs, and no one's reacting. Okay, there's just one Sectoid left. Don't need to drag this out longer than um, it would need to. By the way, something along the lines of inside would have been incredibly helpful, just to get those a uh, little bit more days of research and i'm disappointed about how close it was i almost got to the armor so with maybe two more days i could have gotten plated um, armor and by thinking about it i probably should have prioritized that Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. A um, bit of an intro uh, mission. The next, I know it's a mean cliffhanger to only have 15 minutes of an episode. But what are you going to do? Uh, the next mission is going to be much, much, much longer. And probably also much, much more dangerous. Uh, it's a good chance that I'm going to chop the last mission into three pieces. Um, one per chosen. Uh, because it's, with, a com uh, with the ballistic weapons it might take a longer time. Not sure about how I'm going to uh, go about it. There is a very real chance that I'm not going to be able to do the last mission. So stay tuned and uh, see you all in Waterworld, guys. At least we can say that we've made it in time uh, to Waterworld, which I think no one has uh, so far. So that in itself is already an achievement. Now it's just time for the good old psych and magic to uh, hopefully win the last mission. Take care, guys, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.